Hi, I'm Marissa. I'm sitting in a wildflower meadow at Lower Smite Farm. Now, summer has seemed to have quickly turned into autumn, but even under these grey and colder skies, there's still lots of wildlife interest out there. And for those of us interested in moths, this is a great time to see one of the more common species, the yellow underwing. Yellow underwings are a sort of larger moth. They come in various shades of brown, and there are around about six different types. And the ones I've got in my moth trap are the large yellow underwing. The hind wings underneath are a quite spectacular shade of yellow. This of course is great for the moth in terms of protection um, because when say a bird might try and come and eat it, they can flash their hind wings which causes a bit of a shock to the predator and hopefully the underwing can then escape. You don't really need a moth trap to see them, they, they do come to light so you could try it out with a bed sheet on your washing line and a torch, they kind of just dive bomb in, um, they're not very graceful flyers. And you can attract them really easily to your garden. Yellow underwings will lay about 200 to 300 eggs on the larval food plant and they line them up really neatly and they'll be about a year long life cycle and the adults will be on the wing from June and they can fly right through to October and in some rare cases even longer. To help large yellow underwings through their life cycle in your garden you can plant some caterpillar food plants as I've done in my garden last year, common meadow grasses, knapweeds and some border plants too like foxgloves and marigolds are all food plants for the large yellow underwing caterpillar. I think moths are fantastic so I encourage you to get out in your gardens whether that's with a trap, with a sheet and a torch and just see what is still out and about. There's still plenty to see through autumn.